What's up everyone, it's Jan Boers, it's a new video, it's Czech Talent Tuesday and today it's interview time again. And I'm going to interview Filip Volček, the producer, guitarist, vocalist, radio host, super multi-talented person who's behind Oh My God and many other songs you probably already know from my Czech Talent Tuesday. So what's the story behind the Eurovision song? What's the story behind other song and what producing actually means? Well, let's find out in this awesome interview. It's Filip Bucic. <laughs> hey Filip, I'm really glad that you make time for me. You're super busy nowadays. I know that, but really appreciate that you have my that you that you just you know join the session and have this interview with me. How are you doing? Hey Honza, uh, I'm very good. Thank you very much for having me. I'm uh, I'm very grateful for that. Uh, I'm actually right now at my studio. Uh, I gotta get up pretty early for this, so I hope uh, you know uh, it will be it will be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will be good for sure, man. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, just tell me about why are you busy? It's not just because Oh My God, isn't it? It's like lots of projects. Ongoing. It's not, but uh, I'm I'm working on a on a on a lot of music stuff uh, as well with my with my own band, John John Wolfucker. We are currently finishing finishing a new single, which will be coming out. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that, but uh, at at the first of April. Just tell me. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's kind of a secret. So uh, there will be new music coming out soon, and as well as with John Wolfucker, I'm working currently on uh, with uh, three more artists right now uh, and finishing their singles or EPs or whatever, all that stuff. Yeah, you're super busy. You know, we, we met like a few years ago, and I just thought, oh, he's the guitarist from the John Wolfucker, you know, new metal band. And now I'm just finding out you're a host in the radio, you're a pro music producer. Like, is there anything around music you don't do? <laughs> of course there is. Uh, I'm I'm not good with video. I'm not good with uh, graphics and uh, and sometimes lyrics. I'm uh, I'm kind of lacking uh, the ability of uh, writing lyrics because uh, I'm not I'm not experiencing uh, so much deep stuff anymore. Uh, that will be enough to write lyrics for me, you know. So if we're talking about uh, what I do and do now in music, uh, I'm not that good in writing lyrics, actually. Well, so who made the l lyrics for for Omega? Did you have any involvement, or it's just Benny's work? Uh, it was it was mostly Benny. I think like 99 percent. Uh, I was more like. Uh, Okay, this is good. This could be better and something like that. Uh, but I was more focusing on uh, how to phrase those lyrics into the melody and building up the melody uh, on those lyrics. That was more of my job. Yeah, speaking about Omega, oh of course, this is going to be the big topic of our interview for sure because, you know, I'm focusing on Eurovision mostly. And I'm pretty curious how is the story of this song from the beginning of your work like how 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 how's the story goes okay uh it's actually uh, pretty funny for me uh the song uh the idea for the song came up uh the first session we've ever met with Benny i mean not like uh, that it was uh the first time we've met ever uh we've met uh, a few times before uh as you said i'm i'm working in radio and before that i was working in uh, in the biggest czech television tv ochko uh where he was coming as a host and i was doing social media so i was like jumping around him and hey benny can you say hi um, uh, hi uh, to all uh, tv ochko viewers so he doesn't remember me from uh from that time but after that, uh, I got in touch with uh, Benny's manager. Uh, in that time, I didn't know he was a manager of Benny. Uh, but we really clicked and we've shared a lot of music. And after that, he was like, you know what? I like you. You should do something with Benny. I will arrange that. And I was like, me? What, what the hell, man? <laughs> Is that even possible? I'm I'm playing in a metal band. Should I be working with, uh, with Benny? And it actually got pretty good uh we we clicked in that moment when we started uh, jamming together before that it was like 
I just felt this weird tension between us that uh, we both were at that session because uh, Benny's manager uh, just told us that you two should work together. You two should meet. And we were like, yeah, kind of. But uh, in the exact moment that uh, I took out my, my guitar and we started playing and Benny started singing, it just all went away. And it was just, okay, okay. This is good. This is we're making music. We're at the same level. We're just making music, and that was it, man. So that night uh, we came up with uh, one song, which is already finished and waiting for for its own uh, own time. I think after Eurovision, I don't know. But after that, we had some fun, and after that, uh, Benny. Uh, Come, uh, came running from from the kitchen. He was like, "Oh, oh, I got this idea. We need to make song that uh, all the people could jump and be like, dun, 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 which is uh, which is actually the instrumental instrumental lead hook from Omega. Uh, I've got this recording, uh, the uh, voice memo in my phone, uh, where Benny is uh, is trying to explain me this uh, this riff, and I'm just totally." incapable uh, incapable of uh, of getting it i was like where what time signature are you seeing man I, i was like my brain just couldn't understand it so uh there's like this uh, 50 minutes long voice memo where where i'm i'm going all brain farts and uh we gave up at one moment but after that i was like can you just uh like play some kind of drums on the table as long as you're singing. So he did it. I get, I got it. Uh, what time signature are we in? And after that, there was this uh, first, like, first idea uh, came to life. So I took it to my computer and started building some beat. And it sounded actually, the first demo sounded uh, much more jungly, I would say. Uh, it had more jungle vibes, but after that, uh, I said to myself, I could do something more like modern, more more actual to the year 2020. Yeah, a little more current. So um, I hope um, we accomplish that. Well, I'm 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 pretty sure you did. I like the song, and I'm, I'm among those people who really liked it. I really think that's one of the best songs ever made in here for the abroad market let's say it like this thank you man especially i was really really like happy or surprised maybe after kemama as well that benny can do a step forward you know elevate his music as it's this is very different song and sound from what he's normally yeah. do in here in czech republic uh it is how hard it was to you know find to like to i don't know to step out of this comfort zone yeah of, his maybe i think he definitely did and i think it suits him really well because I, um, when i'm recording vocals with someone i'm very what's the word kind of uh kind of hard on him you know uh i'm just i'm, I'm just going after a lot of details that uh that the singer knows exactly what notes are where so there's not that much work in the post production uh, because it, it saves me time and <laughs> and also uh, it prepares the artist for for the live shows because uh, when it's not prepared before recording and and I'm doing a lot of uh, note separation and no pitch correction in the post production uh, then life it's not that good. But Benny nailed it, and I'm 100% sure he's going to kill it at Eurovision stage. Yeah, and you're going to kill it with him. I heard that you're going to be there with him as well. Uh, I should be. I should be doing back vocals with him. I'm not sure if on stage or, or off, off stage, but <clears throat> I'm working with the possibility that I will be on stage. Uh, and I uh, started actually <laughs> yesterday. It was my first running session. Uh, when I said uh, I should get into shape if if I'm going to be on Eurovision stage, <laughs> so I'm working on that. <laughs> it was it was horrible, man. It was horrible. No, no, I don't. I don't really believe it. Uh, but you're not working just with Benny, of course, and 
the story of Omega. Like I, I think we will hear, hear it for a long, long time. Already had started this kind of PR marketing, whatever around. But I'm really curious. I'm not pretty sure that everyone really knows what it means to be a producer of of songs. Like, how does it work? Like, what does it mean? You know, what what do you do? What do you actually do? Like, some I came to you. I have, oh, I have a l- 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 lyrics in here, and it's gonna sound like blah 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 like this. And you just say, okay, let's do this. The music. How does it work? What what's what's the what's producer do? Okay, it's almost accurate as you said it. Um... <laughs> That wasn't that accurate. But actually, yeah, you know, you know, it's like uh, Is someone, it? uh, someone come to me or uh, uh, first of all, I have to say this is just my approach. Everyone that does it differently. That's very important to say. Uh, I'm working kind of like you said that uh, someone is. Hey, I got this idea for a song. What do you think about that? Uh, that's uh, most of the time the first step. I'm like, okay, I like this. I don't like this. And if we uh, if we agree on uh, on some kind of compromise, what is good in that song and what is not good, or possibly the singer uh, or the artist is uh, is able to work on on some of that stuff and and create a more interesting chorus or more interesting bridge or or rewrite the lyrics. I don't know, whatever. Uh, then we get into it. Um, I like to work myself that the singer is somewhere at his home studio. Uh, they record me um, a demo vocals in in just click in in metronome. I take it and I work on that by myself. If they give me some some kind of uh, some kind of boundaries of of the genre or or maybe some similar songs, I'm trying to. Uh, listen to all of that and, and take some some inspiration from it and I'm pretty much starting with the beat with the kick and a snare with a groove you know so uh, I like I like groovy songs not all uh, not all music that I'm uh, working on for example uh, Ico uh, you probably know Ico uh, yeah, I was about to ask you about that yeah, yeah. Uh, there was one song we did together, uh, which was, uh, I think, very groovy, and and there was uh, a lot of space for groove. But uh, the second song, uh, that was called "Bad Influence," and uh, the second song, which is called "Hunt," and it's her most successful uh, song on Spotify, which I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful for that. And it's an incredible song as well. Yeah, uh, I like it too. Thank you. Uh, Iko did incredible vocal work on that. And <clears throat> for example, this song. I'm sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> for example, uh, <laughs> for example, <laughs> this second song, Hunt. Uh, there was not that much space for groove, so I was more like trying to build that song around the atmosphere, which is uh, my most important goal. After all, you know, uh, I'm always asking w- the artist, "What is this song about?" And they tell me some story. So. Uh, so I have some, some imagination, imagination about um, how that song should should feel, what the atmosphere should be, what we're trying the listener put into. You know, if this song is about love and it's very romantic and it's for only one person, there won't be, I don't know, a very heavy bass synths or, or slapping bass or something like that. It's, it's going to be very smooth and stuff like that. So to your question, what does producer do? He puts together the instrumental music and he's like, I don't know, kind of like the director of, of a music video. But in music, I think... That's how I would describe it, something like that. So uh, I'm, I'm I'm mostly putting together the the instrumentals, uh, playing the instruments. Uh, if uh, if there's something that that I'm not c- capable uh, of doing, of course uh, I ask my friends. I have uh, so many incredible musician friends, so uh, they're they're out to help me and record some parts for me. And uh, also everything is. Uh, Con- consulted with uh, with the artist if if he or she doesn't doesn't like uh, what I'm doing I'm like okay let's let's do that differently and and we take it somewhere else you know uh, that also happens like thank for the description because I was always like how does this really work 
and now I have a proper answer, which is which is great as well for me. Like I was always guessing, you know, I was doing actually the same stuff in television, which is probably this very similar thing, but never ever understood the world of music. It's still a bit mystery for me anyway. <laughs> for me too, don't but worry. I'm really cu- <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit of curious because the, you were you were talking about Aiko. I already had had her as my as my guest, and uh, I had Skywalker as well, Jay from from Skywalker as my guest as well. And I'm just curious, how is, is this a coincidence or or did you make a music for them as well? No, no, no. Or did you help them or just friends? <laughs> Uh, we're friends. Uh, Skywalker are incredible musicians, and uh, their drummer uh, Damian Kuchera is also an incredible uh, music producer. He's mostly focusing, I think, uh, on on metal and and rock and punk rock music. But uh, they are they're they're just incredible and and, and awesome. And they did what uh, <laughs> at least every band in Czech Republic secretly wants. To become one day because uh, they are the chosen ones, you know. They they are just uh, they worked hard for it, isn't it? They're working their asses off. I hate all those uh, beef and and check comments on, under their uh, newly released music videos uh, or <clears throat> or under their posts about uh, going around Europe, where a lot of uh, Czech people who who didn't make it in, in music and they're trying. Um, they're they're trying to make it for like 10 years they'll they're all just jealous they they get didn't get there but skywalker made it but not a lot of people know what what they sacrificed for it they're just working their asses off man they're just you know it's well deserved they're almost every weekend almost every weekend they're in a studio working on something it's like almost 90% 90% uh, when I'm when I'm talking to David uh the guitarist uh, which I'm uh, probably the most friends with uh, and I'm like hey let's grab a beer or or something he's like no uh, nah sorry man we're we're in a studio again the whole weekend they're like all the time in there working on something actually uh their uh, new uh, new album came out uh, last Friday late 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 eternity I think yeah, I was listening it all today, all day yesterday, and it's just awesome. It's freaking good. Awesome music. Like for people who like like hardcore metal, yeah. Slash new metal, there are a lot of references for Linkin Park, old school thing. And you know, I you wouldn't say Linkin Park, but okay. In some songs. Yeah, I'm thinking one song, like few songs. Maybe I want to, I want yeah. to hear it there. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. I, I really love it, and I really, really love the way when I was talking to Jay and I was asking, of course, about Eurovision. He was very open minded about it. What do you think, actually, about this project? Is it like for the people who really wants to go abroad? Is this a chance, whatever genre? How do you? What's your opinion about it? I think uh, it is because uh, I was watching this. Uh, Hungary Ben, how were they called? Mm-hmm. Uh, AWS. Yeah, exactly. AWS, and uh, it was just you know it was just core metalcore stuff. There there were like breakdowns and flames everywhere. So why not? You know, I think uh, in my head there 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 only exists two genres of music: the music I like and the music I don't like. In my subjective, <laughs> in, in my subjective opinion, it's uh, it's good music and bad music, and uh, ergo, good song or a bad song. If the song is good, it doesn't matter what genre it is. That's why I I like I love to listen to Bob Marley, or I don't know some songs from Twenty Four K Golden. Why not? If it's a good song, it doesn't matter what genre it is, and I think. Uh, this approach should be applied, and I think it is, in Eurovision. Because there's a lot of styles mixing, and nobody cares. It's really about the song, and that's the way it should be. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And I will just continue with what you said uh, just a just few minutes ago, that a lot of people are a bit jealous. Well, you were talking about Skywalker, but I kind of feel that people are talking not really highly about the projects they don't really understand. Uh, how do you feel that the role, well, let's say Czech television, but the team around it, around Eurovision, 
how did they help you to change this opinion about Eurovision? Because when we were talking like few years ago, you we were we were talking if John Wolf Hooker will go or not. There was those, you know, but it still was a bit, what's the project about? Do you now understand more what it is about? And will you recommend it to other artists you know and produce with? Of course I would. I think um, Pam Rabbit changed my mind a lot because she was there with uh, Mikolas Josef and uh, she was as well doing back vocals with him on stage. And from what she told me, I think it really makes sense. It really makes sense for everyone who who thinks uh, that his or her hers or their song uh, is good. They have the self esteem and they have uh, the ability of pushing things forward. You know, to to make it. I'm not saying uh, it's um, it's important to win. I think it's important to be there. Uh, at least for all that networking and on all that uh, publicity, uh, you know, I, I, w- I was checking out YouTube uh, for Benny Cristo Omaga, and there's like 20 reaction videos on on channels with I don't know 20,000 subscribers and stuff like that. I'm like, what the hell is going on? This is really big. Uh, it really hit me uh, after. Yeah, it's growing each year. Yeah, it it really hit me after releasing Omaga. I was like, oh man. <laughs> This is awesome. Actually, uh, I'm I'm writing notes from all of that reactions. Really? Yeah. What should we expect from it? Or you just keep it for yourself? Um, I don't know. Uh, the biggest thing I've realized is that everyone' opinion is really subjective. It's really, it's a, it's like really for every person. I think. <clears throat> When you wake up one day, you may like that song, but uh, if you would hear it for the first time when you uh, woke up uh, with the wrong foot from bed, you wouldn't like it or something like that. Uh, at least uh, I'm like that, uh, that songs that really hit me and I connect with them, uh, I hear them in some life situations uh, that co- co-respond with that song that I'm hearing. So uh, I think... A lot of those opinions are based uh, on that, but I'm not sure. I will, I will keep, uh, I will keep watching this, and <laughs> I will keep. Yeah, I'm really that curious opinion. what's going, what's going to happen with that, but what with your notes as well. I'm really curious about it. You have to share it with me at least. <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, but what Omega is? What what kind of song actually it is? Is this like the one, one here love? How how does how do you, how do you say it? Uh, like I'm not... I hear it for the first time, I st- I love it, or it's more like a grower. You know, you need to listen to it more times to get like to like it. I think it's a grower, uh, at least because uh, the chorus it's not it's not very simple. Let's be honest with each other, it's not very simple. But <clears throat> I mean, in terms of uh, that. There's a lot of lot of a uh, lot of notes in in the melody, a lot of lyrics. So the chorus is definitely, at least for me, it's the most important thing of the song. And in this case, I think it is a good chorus, but it's kind of uh, complex. So at least for this reason, it is a grower. Also, uh, the most power- powerful part. Is is the bridge? It's like oh my god, oh my god. So, uh, in this case, you have to you have to listen to it uh, for at least I don't know two minutes or minute forty five or something to get to that. And I think if you get there, uh, there's a bigger chance that you will like it. You may not. I don't care. It's your it's your opinion, and not all of us likes. Uh, the same things that's that's totally normal and that's totally okay but i think uh for omega it's definitely a grower but with uh, I'm, i'm sorry but uh definitely with uh approach to sound like something that could be played on radio and it it would it would fit in into the chr uh mainstream commercial radio playlists that was uh, what i was aiming for yeah to get to the radios and that was actually that's actually my last question do you think that this song will 
be given enough airplay in the radios and will be given enough air, air like how, how did what else air uh, enough air airplay airplay rotation enough airplay in the radio in Czech Republic. Uh, it is already playing uh, in a small rotation uh, on fine radio, the radio I'm working uh, I'm, I'm working on, but it's not because I told them play this song. No, 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 really, really. <laughs> no, man. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, this is not uh, actually my con concern because uh, I'm not in that position who should be sending this song to radio. So if any radio plays it uh, just because uh, they won't want to, then great. But it should be more more of a, a labels or a public relations uh, problem of uh, of Benny's management or or something like that i would be incredible in incredibly grateful if any radio would play that but it's not really one of my concerns yeah i would be really grateful for that too i would be actually really grateful that you that radios will play more eurovision songs like yeah. not eurovision songs but the songs which are at Eurovision, most like lots of them are really, really good. But I think we'll get there over time. Philip, thank you for your time. It was a great interview. Hope you will enjoy Eurovision and this hell of a road. You deserve it. <laughs> and I really wish that you will do great work with other artists, not just Benny, and become famous because I think you deserve it. <laughs> thank you very much, man. Thank you for having me. Uh, see you on Eurovision. <laughs> Okay, that was Filip Vlček, producer behind Omega Song. So what do you think about his opinions? What do you think about the song? What do you think about his work? Let me know in the comments below. Follow him on social media, follow his music, follow Omega, follow Benny Cristo, and you know, encourage them to do even better work in the future and wish them luck at Eurovision because I will do. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, share, like this video and the channel and me. Well, and I see you next time. Bye.